Okay, so we'd like to apologize to our Muslim brothers that, you know, the preference is given so that they can uh, clear their misconceptions and get their questions answered about Islam. And inshallah, we hope that they will enter into Islam. So we'll take the question from the non-Muslim brother over there. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Protus. I'm a security officer with Emeril Services. Actually, I want to clear some doubts I have about uh, what the Muslims uh, tell tells us about the Quran. Like, when you look into the Bible, right from the books of Genesis right down to Malachi, it shows, it conveys information that God has been revealing through driven prophets. But now, when we come to the Quran, the Muslims make us to understand that the Quran is a literal work of God. So I just want to be very clear with that. That is all. Brother, can you speak a bit loudly, brother? The first part of the question I didn't understand. That when you read the Bible from Genesis? What I'm trying to say is that the information the Bible carries Sorry, the all, Sorry the, all, Why did you say the purpose of the Bible? The information that the Bible carries. I'm talking about the information, information of the, the, Bible? the Bible. Yeah, the Bible carries are all revealed by God to different prophets, true different prophets. But now, when we come to the Quran, they make us understand that the Quran is a literal work of God. So I just want to understand why God should keep the Quran so special that he had to write him by himself. The brother asked a very good question. He says from the information of the Bible we get that Bible is written by messengers and prophets of God, but Quran is literally the word of God. So why, why does God keep the Quran so special? Brother, according to Islam, Almighty God has sent down several revelations. By name, four are mentioned in the Quran. The Torah, the Zabur, the Injil, and the Quran. The Torah is the Wahi, the revelation which Almighty God gave to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The Zabur is the Wahi, the revelation which God sent down to Dawud, David, peace be upon him. Injil is the Wahi, the revelation which Almighty God sent to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. And, and Quran is the last and final revelation which Almighty God revealed to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Even the Bible, according to the church, the church never says Bible is the word of prophets. It's a misconception. According to the church, the Bible is the word of God. According to Catholics, they used to believe that Bible is the message from Almighty God. The Protestants, they protested. Not only is the Bible the message from God, every word, every letter of the Bible is from God. So they believe that Bible is a little word. What we Muslims say, that Almighty God sent a revelation to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, but it has not been maintained in its pure form. The present Bible that you have is a mixture. It does contain word of God, it does contain the word of the messengers, it does contain history, it does contain also pornography, I'm sorry to say. So present Bible is an interpolation, is a concoction, it's a mixture. Because by the passage of time, the word of Almighty God, original Injil that we believe in, has changed. Because according to Islam and according to the Bible, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was only sent for children of Israel. And he was meant for, for a limited time period. Now because he was meant for a limited time period, Almighty God did not think it fit to preserve his message. But since Quran is the last and final messenger message, and it was sent to the last and final messenger, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. It was not sent only for the Muslims or the Arabs, it was sent for the whole of humanity. Almighty God promises and says in Surah Hijr, chapter number 15, verse number 9, that we have revealed the Quran, Almighty God says, and we shall guard it from corruption. Now because Quran is the last and final revelation, and after that no other revelation will come, and since Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the last and final messenger, after him no messenger would come that the reason almighty god took it upon himself to preserve this message the previous message is torah zabur injil and what the present bible you have it's a changed form of the original message because it's not meant to be followed till eternity since quran is supposed to be followed till eternity 
and no other message will come. Almighty God himself will protect it. That is the difference between the Quran and the Bible. If you put the Bible to test, you will find many contradictions. You will find many mathematical errors. You will find many scientific errors. Which, if you put Quran to the test, Alhamdulillah, you will not find a single contradiction. You will not find a single scientific error. It passes the test. That is the reason the Quran is the last and final messenger. Is the last and final message of God. If there is something like the Old Testament and New Testament, the glorious Quran is the last and final testament. Hope that answers the question, brother. Yeah. Brother, do you believe there is one God? Yes, I do. Sorry? I do. Do you believe Jesus is God or is the messenger of God? He's also the messenger of God. MashaAllah. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Yes, I do. MashaAllah. That means you're a Muslim. The minimum requirement for anyone to be a Muslim is you should believe there's one God. He should believe that he has no partners. And if you believe Jesus is not God, a messenger of God, and you believe Prophet Muhammad is a messenger, that means you're a Muslim. Yeah, listen to the Qadash. MashaAllah. Would you like to read the Shahada? Would you like to say it in Arabic? Yeah. MashaAllah. Is anyone forcing you to accept Islam? Is anyone forcing you to accept Islam? No, nobody is doing that. You're doing it out of your own free will? Yeah, out of my free will. Inshallah, I said in Arabic and you can repeat it. Yeah. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Aw. Anna. Aw. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasuluhu. I bear witness. I bear witness. That. That. There is no God but Allah. There is no God but Allah. And Prophet Muhammad. And Prophet Muhammad. Is the messenger. Is the messenger. And servant of Allah. And son of Allah. MashaAllah. You have become Muslim. And I pray to Allah SWT to guide you. And to go into Jannah. Inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Are there any other non-Muslims on the microphone? Are there any non-Muslim sisters? Who would like to ask a question? A non-Muslim sister has written down a question. Oleh karena itu, Abu Isan akan menjelaskan mengenai amalan-amalan ringan yang dapat kita lakukan sambil kita mengerjakan yang lain. Yang dimaksud ringan di sini adalah kita bisa melakukannya hanya dalam waktu beberapa menit saja, atau mungkin dalam beberapa detik juga bisa. Dan yang lebih menguntungkannya lagi adalah kita bisa melakukan zikir-zikir ini di mana saja dan tidak harus dalam kondisi berwudu.